Do you want to come to Canada as a caregiver this year? If your answer is yes, keep on watching. In this video, we will know three key points to achieve the goal of coming to Canada as a caregiver. If you're dreaming to be a caregiver in Canada, it is highly important to know the following. First, present immigration pathways for caregivers. Second, who can apply. Third, how to apply. And at the end of this video, I'll share my personal tips as current caregiver in Canada. Presently, there are two specific immigration pathways for caregivers. One, home child care provider pilot. Two, home support worker pilot. These two pilot programs were launched on June 2019 by the IRCC and expected to last for five years. By the way, if it's your first time to hear the acronym IRCC, it stands for Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, and is a department of the Canadian government that deals with the immigration. Now, what's the difference between these two caregiver pathways? In home child care provider pilot, Applicants will provide care to children under the age of 18. On the other hand, home support worker pilot are for applicants for clients who are either elderly or those person with disability. But both pilots offer the following to its applicants, namely, 1. Work permit and permanent residency application can be submitted at the same time. 2. Eligible family members can come to Canada with a caregiver through work or study permit application. 3. And most importantly, have the opportunity to become a permanent resident in Canada after 24 months of completing an eligible work experience. To appreciate the new caregiver pathways, let's quickly review the old process for caregivers before. In the past, work permits issued to caregivers are employer-specific, meaning they are only allowed to work for one specific employer, whereas, in the new pilots, work permits will be occupation caregiver specific. Also, family unification only happens after the decision was made on the permanent residency application of the caregiver. Similarly, hiring a caregiver in the past requires an LMIA or labor market impact assessment from the employer, and in my case, it's one of the most challenging step as claimed by my employer due to cost and time that they spend on it. Then going back to the two new pilots, let us know, who can apply? If we will check the IRCC website, there are three categories of applicants who can apply, and it's based on their caregiving experience. 1. Zero caregiver qualifying experience in Canada. 2. Less than 24 months caregiver qualifying experience in Canada. 3. 24 months or more caregiver qualifying experience in Canada. So if you are outside Canada, and want to work here, as a caregiver, your category will be on the first one. Now, the next question is, how to apply? If you meet the following, you may be eligible to apply, for the home child care provider or home support worker pilot. 1. Have an employer, and obtain a genuine, job offer. 2. Have proofs of ability to perform the work through your work experience in related education. 3. Pass an approved language exam by obtaining the minimum score of 5 in all 4 abilities, based on the CLB, or the Canadian Language Benchmark. The 4 abilities includes speaking, listening, reading, writing. 4. Meet the education requirement, which must be equivalent to at least Canadian. 1 year post-secondary education credential or higher. To check if your completed education in your home country is valid and equal to this, have your education documents assessed by an approved organization for your ECA, which stands for Educational Credential Assessment. Number 5. Be admissible to Canada. This will be determined by the visa officer, according to several factors, including the two most common, namely, criminality or security, and medical. Six and lastly, plan to live outside the province of Quebec. It is because Quebec and their immigration policy are often different from the other provinces of Canada. Please note 
that there are 10 provinces and three territories in Canada. Six eligibility criteria that we have mentioned earlier are highly important to know and will contribute to your successful application. To detailedly explain those six, let's plan to make an individual videos for each. I'm hopeful that I can upload those videos in the next coming days or weeks. If you want to be notified, just click the subscribe and turn on the bell button. We are close to the end of this video, so let me share some of my personal words. But before that, just a disclaimer, I'm no immigration expert, but presently I'm a caregiver here in Canada. The information that I shared are gathered from reading in the official IRCC website. You can find the link in the description button. For the list of, take it from me that I can give, they are the following. Number 1. Never lose hope. Remember that tons of successful caregiver stories also begin from where you are right now. As for me, may this inspire you. I'm glad to share that I'm just waiting for the decision of both my permanent residency and open work permit application. There are delays due to COVID-19. And yes sometimes, it is frustrating. But those moments, will help us cherish to the fullest those prayers and blessings once answered. 2. Expand your knowledge. This will help you achieve your goal of coming to Canada. Ways to do that, include. First, reading relevant topics in the IRCC website. Second, join social media community, of caregivers. Third, watching formative videos about caregiver topics, on YouTube or Facebook. These three will definitely, give important updates, or even tips. For the summary, in this video we have talked about the following. 1. The present caregiver pathways in Canada. And compared those two, to the old process, for caregiver before. 2. Who can apply to the pilot program. 3. How to apply. 4. Personal words from me, which I call, take it from me. For easy reference, just click the description button of this video, for the timestamps of each. If this video helps you, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Your comments are also welcome. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.